What's up everybody, here again with my man Omar. We're still running with the strongman theme. We're gonna yep. do a little bit of upper body today. Let's get to the training footage. What's up everybody, I wanna talk a little bit about this training session that you're about to watch, but before I do, I wanna say that when Omar contacted me and said he wanted to come check out Untamed Strength, I was extremely excited. And when he showed up, he did not disappoint. He is the exact Omar that you see in his videos. He's very nice, very funny, very energetic, he's very humble, and he's very, very motivating. Uh, we hit it off right away. He got along with all the members at the gym. Uh, I can't say enough good things about him. So we were doing some power snatches. You can see here, we're doing our warm-up progression. Uh, we didn't do a whole lot of talking in between sets of uh, the power snatches. We just blasted the music up loud, pissed off the neighbors. If you could see my shirt, you could probably guess what we were listening to. Uh, if you ever get the chance to come to Untamed Strength, most likely you're gonna hear Metallica, Megadeth, Slayer, and or Pantera. Uh, so, I will offer uh, a quick power snatch tip, or just a snatch tip for those of you wanting to incorporate the Olympic lifts into your routine. Uh, and that tip is relax your arms. If you can see before I start my snatch, I'll do a little bit of uh, uh, shaking out any tension in my arms. I wanna get rid of any tension in my arms, keep my lats tight, and that's gonna keep the bar close to my body. The reason being, tight muscles are not fast muscles. So having my arms loosey-goosey uh, allows me to use my legs and my hips to propel the barbell up, and once I transition into that third pole, once I pull myself under, it makes for a very fast and fluid uh, transition under the bar. So I propel the bar up, I jump underneath it, and then I punch my arms out at the top. Uh, so there's your tip. Lose any tension in your arms. Your arms are merely cables connecting your body to the barbell. Not training arms, I think, uh, helps me with the power snatch because my arms are pretty underdeveloped and I don't like using my arms to lift things. I like using my body. So it does kind of help uh, with the power snatch. But once we start to uh, bench press, you'll see that the lack of arm training shows. So anyways, yeah, we were just working up to a heavy snatch. Uh, going back and forth, having a lot of fun, feeding off each other's energy. Nice. So you can see Omar's self-proclaimed press out. Look good, but just maybe the slightest bit of press out. Not good in a competition, but it's good in training. Omar's done 190, 195 power snatch. Uh, just wasn't feeling it tonight. It is what it is. Uh, so we moved on. On to the log press. So we started with this baby log. It's a 10 inch diameter. Weighs 110 pounds. We did some... Uh, push press, a little bit of jerks uh, with this log. It was more of me just getting Omar familiar with the log. So let me say that this log is very, very difficult to press. The size of it is extremely overwhelming. Uh, it's pressing down in your chest. You can't breathe, you can't see. You're looking straight up at the ceiling. Uh, so it's very, it's an unwieldy object. Um, and it's extremely difficult to press. Because of the diameter, because it's so much greater in diameter than a barbell, it makes the dip and drive very difficult because the weight is so far out in front of you that it wants to dip down and pull you down. Um, so uh, it's a very difficult log to press. It's a very difficult object to press. So as you can see here, I had an advantage on Omar because I've had lots of practice with this log. So I'm very comfortable with it. I have a lot of confidence in it. You can see that Omar's pretty much a little bit of leg drive, but he's pressing it out. He's using his strength to press it out, which is good. But if you see me, I'm really jerking the hell out of this log. So I'm using my whole body to throw that weight up and I'm jumping underneath. So it's more of a throw and catch for me. For Omar, it was more of a press. Uh, nothing wrong with that, but it just allows me to handle a little bit more weight. So, and again, it's not like jerking under a barbell, especially if it's your first time. Uh, it's very intimidating. You don't wanna drop that thing on your dome. So there's a lot of hesitation to get under it. So, oh no, look at this slow-mo worthy moment. Omar was a little embarrassed, I think, but this is nothing. I, that thing has spit me out five feet back, landed on my ass. I've seen people fall backwards and have the log drop on top of them. Uh, so dropping it off the blocks was no big deal. Uh, so Omar was trying to keep up with me, um, but again, it was his first day, so you know he wasn't able to get that, I think 215. Uh, so we dropped the weight back down. He was going for a body weight press, and you can see he was having a little bit of trouble, but uh, a little bit more chalk, a little bit more, a uh, few more attempts, and he was able to get it. And I will tell you, so this is uh, 190 right here. 
So I will tell you that a body weight log press on your first day is very, very impressive. Here he's telling me how disconnected his leg drive and his press is, but again, it's just familiarity with the implement. Um, I've had a lot of practice with it, so I'm a lot more comfortable with him. Uh, Omar had his mind set on 200 pound log, so that's what we went for next. Uh, and here he goes to attempt a 200 pound log. Again, at 185, 180 body weight, very, very impressive. He can actually press more than this on a barbell, but I'm telling you, that log is a mother. Here he goes, a little bit more chalk, up in the intensity, increasing the volume of Metallica, and there he goes, looked better than his 190. So I worked up to 260, I've done 285, but I was just having a hard time this evening. Uh, I was very, very smoked. My strength was not there. Um, we had a long few days of training and uh, recording not eating anything. So anyways, my strength was way down, so I was just resorting to jumping underneath it, uh, being fast, being explosive. And it took a couple tries to get the timing down, but eventually, with a little bit more aggression, I was able to get it. So there we go. Uh, then we moved on to a little bit more bodybuilding. So we wanted to do some bench press. Uh, this is good, great assistance for the log because of the neutral grip, just like the log press. But we wanted to use something other than the barbell, so we went with this Beast Metals football bar or multi-grip bar a new piece of equipment, so I was just as unfamiliar with it as Omar. Um, we didn't know, I don't remember, I have never weighed it. I think it's 50 to 55 pounds. Uh, but Omar and I were just guessing what it weighed uh, based off what I was told. And we decided, hey, let's just go for 100 pounds. So maybe it weighs 100 pounds. So as you can see, there's a little bit of wobble. It takes a lot of wrist strength to stabilize this weight. With a tire, with a tire on me, not a muscle up. Round one, long press, Alan. Round two, Omar. Omar just wanted to keep putting on more weight. He was smoking me in this, uh, this second round of uh, bench press. That ass chest was definitely uh, showing what it's got. His pressing strength is much better than mine. So as you can see, there's a little bit of wobble with that football bar side to side. This is great for strongmen because of the awkward implements you press. You get into a lot of strange positions. It does take a lot of wrist strength and wrist stability to be able to hold on to a lot of those implements when they're overhead. So I think this is great, not only for the neutral grip, but uh, for building up some wrist strength and stability. Yep. Up, up. Omar going with that two plates. We do do a lot of uh, uh, pet work, like flies, table flies. I do load of incline is all I've ever done. Yeah. Before. But I, when I was a bro, so as you were taught to squat properly, right. the bro code, I was taught to bench a lot. Right. Um, so I bench uh, three exercise, I bench uh, two times a week, and I bench uh, three main movements: flat, incline, decline. And then I would also do tricep and whatnot. So like the bench went like this, and everything else was like a bench yeah. shot up like this. Yeah. And then it stalled uh, due to like size or whatnot. And then as I had more size, like honestly the bench just went up. So never really programmed for it. Um, I noticed that a lot though. A lot of bodybuilding girls are like pretty good at bench. Yeah. And they bench a lot. Yeah. They got effort into it. And yeah. They Come on, man. Hey. So here we go on my last set of football bar bench press. And what do you know? Oh, 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 and I fail. And just complete disappointment from Omar with my lack of ass chest development. So here he is taking me under his wing, showing me the ways of the ass chest. Open. 
pronate, go slow, feel that contraction right here. Then we uh, knocked out some pull-ups. Omar is on his like 10 million pull-up a year uh, quest, whatever that is. But uh, he decided to knock out 50. This was his last set, so I think he did like 20, 20, 10 or something like that. Look at that, some behind the scenes action. Uh, that's a pretty cool shot right there. And this was my last set, pulling my fat ass up to that bar. Looking real herky-jerky on those pull-ups. Come on. One more. After the pull-ups, we had uh, initially nice. planned on doing some Z-Press, which is where you sit down and press the weight overhead, but it was bothering uh, Omar's SI, uh, previous SI problem a bit. So we decided to do some behind, behind the neck presses. We worked up to 135, took it for a ride. Um, I think this is a great exercise. A lot of you guys have asked uh, if behind the neck presses, if I suggest them. If you have the shoulder mobility to do it, yes, they are great. But if you have crappy posture and your shoulders are beat up, I would not suggest it. Fix your posture before you uh, work on these. So this just makes the movement extremely strict. It does not allow any body lean. And I think it hits a little bit different part of your shoulder. Uh, a little less front delt uh, because of that lack of lean back. So I think I got seven or eight on 135 uh, smoked. But Omar showing his, uh, his uh, dedication to aesthetics, really paying off of that bodybuilding. He cranked out eight. Uh, eight, nine, maybe ten, I don't remember. But here he is, he's showing a lot more control of that bar too. Come on! So then we moved on to some more overhead pressing. We were doing the keg, uh, so this was me demonstrating how to do the keg, a little keg, keg cleaner press. This thing is full of sand, so it's extremely shifty. So if you've got thin wrists and you want some thicker wrists, uh, stronger hands, this is a great movement if you can find a keg. I found mine on Craigslist, filled it with sand. Uh, it takes a lot of wrist strength and a lot of wrist stability. Again, uh, helps a lot with strongman. So it took Omar a couple tries to get used to it, but once he got it, he was killing it. I was really impressed with Omar's uh, willingness to try anything. No hesitation. Uh, he was willing to throw himself in the fire and, uh, you know, make a fool of himself. And he, he did he did really well. So here, this is a 110 pound uh, keg. Again, not extremely heavy, but extremely awkward. Then he wanted to go for the 135. After a few missed attempts, he was able to get it. So it's like each time you get a little bit more familiar, I gotta do this, you make small adjustments, and then finally, boom, he gets it, and it you know, flies overhead from there. I didn't wanna do the keg anymore, I wanted to do a 200 pound sandbag press. So I was fighting with this damn thing for a while. Uh, here it is, and eventually got it. Yep, nice. <laughs> God damn. On the following day, I had to introduce Omar to a sport called Moss Wrestling. It's a native sport of Russia. It's pretty much tug of war with a stick. In Russia, it is tradition to Moss Wrestle shirtless, hence the lack of clothing. The goal of Moss Wrestling is to rip the stick out of your opponent's hand, pull your opponent over the board, or pull him off balance. Now, before today, Omar had never even heard of Moss Wrestling, so not only do I weigh 40 pounds more than him, but I've also done it a few times. Alright. Uh, okay, sorry. Sorry. Okay, so now. Wait, whoa. Okay. Four, two, one. Four. Three, two, one. Oh, fight for it, Omar. Oh, it's a stalemate. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna turn that way. Oh, dang. I, I threw right. my rotator. Nice job, man. That was a fucking solid. That was a good one. Never, <laughs> no. never doing this before, dude. That was a fucking solid, man. Uh, nice job, dude. Nice work. Yeah. All right, everyone. So there you go. An awesome day of training. Omar, how'd you like it? Dude, I loved it. Uh, so it was cool to start with power snatch, something that we're both used to. And then you showed me the log press. 
Uh, I got to be honest. I, when you, you know, you told me like, hey man, uh, doing your body weight would be good for today. I'm like, Alan, like I overpress, I over I press uh, 210, like just watch. And then when you put it on you yeah. and it's like pushing against you, you can't see. And then when you try and press it, it's pulling you forward. So it's completely yeah. different. Yeah. It's um, totally pushing you around. Yeah. And my ego was uh, humbled. And so when I saw you do uh, 260 and you smoked, I was like, holy shit. <laughs> you're, yeah. you're literally, uh, the reason a body weight press is so great with that log is because that log is literally bigger than you. You yeah, are yeah. pressing an object that's bigger than you. So and you're offsetting it or whatnot yeah, right? when you right, press right. it. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it, so uh, it was impressive. You did really well. Hey man. Nice job. Dude, it all came down to the instructions. Seriously, like the, uh, the keg went like real smooth. Never yeah. did that before. It feels, again, None of these things feel intuitive. I can say like right. with a barbell, it's pretty straightforward, right? right. Bench press, what do you do? Press it up, right. right? With a keg, it's like, well, they're standing in Omar, so it kind of shifts to the side, shifts forward, shifts back. Yeah. Then you gotta like brace it up, then you gotta stay up, then you press it up, yeah. like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you gotta be athletic, you gotta be able to react. Um, so it's fun. Yeah. Um, so uh, props to you for getting out of your comfort zone, getting out of your element. Yeah. Um, he had, there was no hesitation at all. It was, uh, hey, let's try a keg press. Don't know what the hell that is, but let's go for it. Of course. Um, so it was a lot of fun. Um, so that's it guys. If you, for whatever reason, I don't know if there's any watching this who don't know who Omar is. If you are unaware of his channel, go check it out. I'll put a link down in the description. Lots and lots of good info. Sometimes it might get old to look at this ugly raggedy beard all the time. So you can get the info from him also. Um, so again, Omar, thank you very much. It was a lot of fun. Dude, thanks for having me, man. I've been Absolutely. having honestly, a blast uh, training here because uh, I did a little bit of strongman uh, before when I went down to Florida with uh, Elliot. But uh, we didn't have as much time. Like uh, you explained, like kind of like the medley, what we're doing, how to do it, and whatnot. And so it made, even though I sucked at the medley, uh, it made more sense. Like when I was doing it and whatnot. Right. Yeah, yeah, it was right. really cool. Absolutely. Well, it is after midnight. We have been training, doing footage, bouncing ideas back and forth uh, all day yesterday too. So uh, we are about to go get some, probably some pretty crappy food. Yeah. Um, Questionable but, choices happen right, after right, midnight. Yeah. Right. So, uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Always remember, tread on time.